Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm using this long wood hanger that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm brushing on Antique Wax by Waverly, and then I'm taking a baby wipe and blending it all in, smoothing it out, and I do this to the entire board. Next, I am taking these pumpkins and scrapbook paper I got from Hobby Lobby, tracing out the pumpkins and cutting those out and setting them aside. I then paint the edges of each of the pumpkins with buttered pecan acrylic paint by Folk Art. And I take that same color mixed with truffle chalk paint by Waverly and brush that on each of the stems. After those are dry, I take Mod Podge and brush on a layer of that on the front of the pumpkins. I don't cover the stem with the Mod Podge, just the pumpkin. Place down the scrapbook paper and smooth it out with my hands. I do that to all four and make sure that layer is completely dry and then add a layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper. Next, I go around with my micro sander and sand off any excess paper. I then take these two inch wooden letters that I got from Amazon and paint them with toasted terracotta acrylic paint. And that is also by Folk Art. I then am taking each letter and hot gluing one of them to each of the pumpkins. I then place them on my wood hanger, getting them more towards the bottom because I'll be making a bow for the top. Once I get my placement how I want it, I hot glue each of them into place. Next, I'm making a bow. I'm just taking different ribbons and I'm pinching the center of the ribbon, holding it in my hands and then crisscrossing the different patterns like an X in my hands. And you can use wired ribbon, non-wired ribbon, either works fine. And some of the ribbons are one and a half, others were two and a half inches and I cut them in half. I like to use at least four different patterns and I fill it all in and then wrap the twine around the center where I had been holding it nice and tight. Cut off the excess and then I go around trimming up any of the ribbon that is a little bit too long. I pull apart the ribbons and kind of pull them forward and then hot glue that to the top of my hanger. And then take the twine hanger that was originally on the board and put that back in. And that is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.